Praise to be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Welcome to Our Lady of Mount Virgin Church as we gather to celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter. We ask that as you gather in your homes to worship with us, you silence all cell phones, electronic devices, and free yourself of all distractions. Our presider for the celebration is Father Marco, and the special intention of this liturgy is for all mothers living and deceased, Alice Stanton, Jennifer Schimeka, Peter Latona, Renata Guerrolo, Rose Vita, Michelle Fontana, Francis Prelick, Rosario and Rosalia Zingone, and Louise Moore. At this time, we ask you to join in our entrance hymn, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protection here mu bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at the table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Procronius, Nicanor, Timon, Parnamis, and Nicholas of Antioch, a converted to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid their hand on them, the word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large groups of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dalla prima lettura di San Pietro Apostolo. Carissimi, 
avvicinandovi al Signore, pietra viva, rifiutate degli uomini da me scelta e preziosa davanti a Dio, quale pietra vive siete costituiti anche voi con edifici spirituali, per un sacerdozio santo e per offrire sacrifici spirituali gradite a Dio, mediate Gesù Cristo. Si legge infatti nella scrittura, ecco, io pongo a Signore una pietra d'angolo scelta, preziosa, e che credi in essa non resterà deluso. Ora dunque è a voi che credete, ma per quelli che non credono la pietra che i costruttori hanno scartato è diventata pietra d'angolo e sasso di ancipio, pietra di scandalo. Essi vi anciampano perché non obbediscono alla parola, e questo era il destinato. Voi invece siete stirpi eletti, sacerdozi regali, nazione santa, popolo che Dio si è acquistato, perché può camare le opere ammirevoli di Lui, che vi ha chiamato dalle tenebre alla sua luce meravigliosa. Parola di Dio. Grazie a Dio. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time? And you still do not know me, Philip. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. 
The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Very well, brothers and sisters. First of all, I wanted to, to greet all mothers. May God bless you, all mothers that are still living and also those that have gone to the Father that are preceding us in heaven and for sure they are already praying for us and looking, watching over us even more than when they were alive. Eh? Because from heaven, the mother, who are always the mothers, they will always be with us. They know already before, you know, we ask what we want. They know the children more than we know ourselves. You know, this is how the mother are. And so this is a beautiful feast, eh? the feast of all mothers that uh, we are celebrating. And also this month is dedicated to the Virgin Mary, which is a mother of all mothers. And so we can for sure ask and pray to her, especially during this month, eh? which is a very different eh? month of May that we have ever lived. And then I wanted to say a few words about the readings. You know, the first reading speaks of the disciples always looking uh, to the material, you know, which is, which is important. But Jesus Christ always asks us to make an effort to look at heaven, to transcend to look already for the new one, for the new life. They are fighting because, you know, they are giving more attention to the, to the Jewish group and the Greek are receiving less. They're always, uh, like many, many times, you know, we are envious or we think that somebody is getting more than we, that uh, they should be uh, getting, that we should get more, you know. This is like us. The disciples are poor sinners like all of us. So this should be already a good news because God loved them. God chose them. He made an election which doesn't depend on how great or how good we are, but it's an election which is a, we don't know. He just elects. Eh? So also he is electing us. And what is he saying? He said, we need to take care of the word. We need to evangelize. We need to, you know, the most important thing is the word of God. Jesus Christ, when the disciples say, Eat, Lord. And he said, I have a food that you do not know, which is to do the will of God, which is to announce and to witness the love of God, the love of the Father. Yeah. And then the second reading, and he speaks about this of... Uh, the second reading, we read in Italian. Parlava della pietra viva. He was speaking of the living stone. Jesus Christ is the stone. Jesus Christ is la pietra viva ma che fa inciampare molta gente, which she makes people uh, trample, you say, like fall. Why? Because many times Jesus Christ comes to speak to us in a way we do not understand. Eh? He's the stone, he's the cornerstone. For some will be salvation, for others will be their fall, you know, and why? Because Jesus Christ speaks about something that many times we do not understand, which is, you know, to love the enemy. That's why Jesus Christ is always a scandal many times for us, for humanity. Because he says, love the enemy. Be generous with your money. Be open to life. Be, you know, and there are things that many times, and because we need the Spirit of Christ. We need the Spirit of Christ. That's why the church is where we get this spirit. Through baptism, we can get this spirit that we are able to have the same spirit of Christ so that we can follow him wherever he goes. Like the gospel was saying, you will follow me. You know the way. And he said, but how do we know where you are going? And he said, I am the way. This is the way. Jesus Christ crucified, 
who gave his life for the enemy, for the evil one, this is the way. And not for, it doesn't say accept them, it doesn't say close an eye, no, it said love them, love the enemy. And this is the amazing things, the amazing news that Christ gave us, but who can do that? Who can love the one who hurts you, the one who betrays you? Well, only Jesus. That's why he needs to say, follow me, follow me, follow after me. I have done it already. I will give you the possibility to follow me, to do the same, because that is salvation. If you follow me, you will be saved, to be saved and to have the same spirit of Jesus Christ who gives his life for humanity, not only for the good one, but also for the evil one. And this is what Jesus is inviting us, all of us, all of us to do the same. In putting our trust, not on our, on our own, on our own strength, but asking God to give us this spirit and of being able to love, love unconditionally, without, you know, keeping anything for ourselves. This is how Jesus Christ loved us and he gave his life for us. And so let us continue with this uh, Eucharist giving thanks to the Lord. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And so we have the courage to bring our prayers before him. For the Pope, that he may continue to have the courage to follow Christ's example, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples of the world, that we may follow the great commandment, the law of love, and respond to everyone with kindness and love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are near death, that they may keep their eyes towards the new Jerusalem, that they and their grieving families may become comforted knowing there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, especially for Camille Virgo, that they may be brought into the peace of God's presence with all their sins forgiven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering because of this pandemic, may the resurrection of their, the Son bring them hope and consolation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all sick people of our parish, that they may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
we remember in a special way all mothers living and dead. Alice Stanton, Jennifer Shemeka, Peter Latona, Renata Quirolo, Rose Vida, Michelle Fontana, Francis Prilich, Rosario and Rosalia Zingone, and Louise Moore, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord, Lord share our prayer. prayer. The Lord is good and all compassionate toward all his works. We trust in your goodness, O Lord. We beg that you might hear and answer these prayers as your infinite wisdom will deem right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and for the whole of the church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, 
When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome we Pascal joy, Every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially all of our deceased mothers, Alice Stanton, Jennifer Schimeka, Peter Latone, Renata Fierro, Rose Vita, Michelle Fontana, Francis Brella, Rosario and Rosalia Zingone, and Louise Moya. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on our soul, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, bless Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have you throughout the ages, we may merit the glories of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To everyone out there who is now participating in our worship of Almighty God this weekend as we gather for this vigil, note that we are out here now and we will be out all day tomorrow and throughout the week you're able to worship with us by way of our technology. But when I said, please be seated, my first thought was, he's got to be crazy. We're probably all sitting anyway. <laughs> and not following the rubrics. However, my friends, we have a small team here with a total of eight, we're still within the guidelines, who come together weekly so that we might be with you, certainly to worship Almighty God, especially on this fifth Sunday of the Easter season, and our worship of God always takes precedence. But as Father Marco preached at the beginning of his homily, and Father, your homily, was really, really very touching and very wonderful. I thought of the line. Did anyone ever get it from their mother? Wait until we get home. If we were to fail to mention all of our mothers living and certainly who have passed away, who have died. And something Father Marco said really, really touched me, and it did, and I, Sal, I know it got you too, when he said that our mothers can watch us even more closely from heaven. Just really think about that. And then he said to me in the sacristy, I'm not going to say much about Mother's Day. He said, if you want to say something, go right ahead. But Father Marco, you did say it all. And I'll leave you with that last word, other than the fact that, as an example, truly, as an example to each and every one of us who in faith lived God's life, lived God's message. And I always draw attention to the Annunciation window, you know, when she said, let it be done to me as you have said. Little did she know what the rest of her days were going to be like. And as I mentioned, our deceased mothers, and there are several of us here whose mothers have passed. I need to bring to attention certainly our lead videographer, my friend Michael Stanton, who last week, after taping, I'm sorry, after doing the Mass with us, went home to find out that his mother had passed away. And he's back here this week. So talk about listening to what God says and following that leader. I'd probably be in a cave. Two weeks prior, just before taping, I believe, for the, and I use that word tape, it's not taping, it's videoing, the first or the second, his mother-in-law passed away. The mother of Yolanta, who joins us this evening, and she's another dear friend, and our Wells Fargo rep. In my phone, I have her down as Yolanta Wells. I'm sorry, Michael. She's Yolanta Wells in my contacts. But nonetheless, my friends, it is so true that we need to honor all of our mothers and above all, our blessed mother, mother of God and mother of each and every one of us. You know, don't be afraid. You have faith in God like she had. Then we have faith in God. And we have faith in and through her to place ourselves under her mantle during this beautiful month of May. My friends, in addition, to speaking of our mothers, 
who have left this world. The last intention I added this afternoon, she was on our sick list, Louise Moyer, a very, very dear and close friend of mine for approximately 27 years. A woman of tremendous strength and even stronger faith. And why do I mention her in particular? Because the chalice that we've been using throughout the month of May, when she was on pilgrimage with me with adults to Lourdes in 2002, she bought that chalice for me as a surprise. And so to all of her family, you know, you've got a tremendous example of a woman of great faith and great strength with a great adoration of our Blessed Mother, who will see us all through. I woke up this morning at my family's summer home, truth of God. It was first seven o'clock, I said, uh-uh, rolled over, 10 o'clock, my eyes opened and I said, with the loss of what day is it? I said, oh my God, tomorrow is Sunday, tomorrow is Mother's Day, the crown, the crown. And I was telling Father Marco right earlier, I, I couldn't see straight and I was already on the phone with our florist. He said, can you please get me one today before 5.30 or 5 o'clock? No problem, Father Peter, because after I speak with you, I was supposed to be short. We are going to carry on that tradition. And as I said, it had to be on Mother's Day. If I transferred it to next week, it wouldn't feel the same. So we are going to crown the Blessed Mother, our image of Our Lady of Mount Virgin in the center of our church, again, just before the final blessing. Thank you for joining us. Know that we miss you, we love you. We pray for you, we ask that you continue to pray for us until we can gather again. I need to direct you to our newly launched website. Very important. M-O-U-N-T-V-I-R-G-I-N dot com. Magnificent, interactive, has all of the directives from the Archdiocese on what's being lifted slowly but surely. We can't rush into this. But all of the directors are out there. And there are many other opportunities for you, especially that you can't come to church and light the candles. We're one of the few in the Archdiocese that still have the wax candles. But at this time, you can do virtual candles through the website. Father Marco, Father Riley, and myself have a private chapel where we will pray for all of those intentions, but my friends, be assured of our continued prayer and love for each and every one of you, and may all women enjoy this beautiful Mother's Day. Thank you. 
See 